Hello and welcome back. This is Bill from Lilac Writer and I have another how-to video with Studio One version 1.5 and I, for this particular tip I don't think that matters if you're on 1.5 or if you're on 1.0. This is kind of how it works. So what we're going to do is talk about how to flip the phase or invert the phase on a track and we can do that with a plugin and we can also do that and render it offline and kind of make that permanent as well. So here's the scenario. I've got a drum kit here set up. Same thing we used in the last video. But if you really take a look at the snare, we've got a top and bottom snare mic. So I'm just going to select both of these tracks and then we'll expand these out so you can take a look. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts for zoom uh, W and E. E will zoom me way out. So I just want to pick um, any snare hit here and really really zoom in and you can see that the phase is flipped now if this is recorded properly it wouldn't look like this but this happens pretty frequently if you have the two mics pointing towards each other which can happen in a in a bottom and top miking situation with drums and if it does you wind up with kind of a thin sound on your snare So I don't know if you can hear that here, but what we're going to do is go ahead and fix this. And the way we do it is using the mix tool. So we're going to put a mix tool effect. And I've already got that selected here. So if you go into your effects and find the personas effects, and then under mix tool, you can either drag the mix tool or this phase invert uh, onto one of the two. I'm going to drag it to the bottom snare track, and then I'm going to get this playing. So there's a lot more body to the snare when we've got the phase inverted because the two mics are not working together instead of basically canceling a lot of the frequencies. So that's how we want it to sound. And we could just end right there because this is, you know, an adequate way to solve this problem. This mix tool doesn't really require much processing power. But in a lot of programs, you know you want to commit to this particular kind of an effect. So you could right click on it, invert the phase, done. But if you want to make this permanent, it's very easy with under the export stems. So I go to song export stems and I'm going to go to the channels and just clear them all. So I've got select none I'm doing down here and then I'm going to find this snare bottom and over here we're going to give it a name. This is the prefix name. We can always edit this later. I'll probably change that later. The only thing to really pay attention to here is that the resolution should match your project resolution. So if you're recording with 24 bits, you're going to want this to be 24 bits. And then if you want to do the entire song, you want to go between the song start and end marker on this render. And then keep mono files mono, and then we want to import it right back into the track. We'll hit OK on that. And it'll flip through there very fast. It says 32 times, 19 times the speed of real time which is really, really uh, uh, very nice. So now it's done already. And now we've got the flipped snare bottom back in the track. So this original one, we definitely want to mute that. And then uh, we can play this. But to really get proof that that worked, we've got to zoom way in again. And now you can see that for the most part, it's going... It's going negative where it should. It's going positive uh, where it should. And so it's flipped back in phase. At this point, we don't really necessarily need this original part. I'm going to, I'm going to um, keep with the idea that we started in the, in the last video. Before I delete this bottom snare part, the original one, I'm going to just drag it into the stash track. And like I said before, I've remapped the key F1 to be the key for creating a new layer. Well, we'll hit I, but anyway, I'm going to just hit F1, or you could go track um, layers, add layer. And you can see that in mine, it's mapped F1. By default, F1 is help, but anyway, this is the Lawrence technique. And so now I hit F1, and that pushes it into one of the layers on my stash track. 
So I'm not deleting it out of my project in case I want to go back and get the original, but I don't, I don't really want that in there as I move forward. So now I'll remove that track. I've got the flipped bottom track and uh, by rendering it, I got it a little longer than necessary. So we'll just trim up the end of that. And I did a lot of explaining, but really this doesn't take time. In order to flip the track, all you've got to do is drag the phase invert tool, uh, go to song, export stems, select that one channel, and then run the export. It only takes a couple seconds and you're right back in here ready to go. So that's kind of how you invert the phase on a track and hope this is helpful and I'll see you again in the next video.